Hiya, I'm Fred Kroll, board builder, Sow Shields. In my yard at the present time, we'll have this new project started, which is the George Elmy, a lifeboat from Seam Harbour. It's built in the early 50s, and in 1962, it was attending a rescue, and they had a disaster. It capsized, and they lost all the crew and the people who were rescuing, leaving only one survivor who was later found on the beach. The 50 year anniversary is coming up in 2012 and they would like a full restoration for that date and they're going to have some ceremony to mark the disaster because the relatives have formed a, the East Durham Heritage Trust and this is what's funding all the restoration project it is partly lottery funded, which is a good help. And hopefully at the end of it, approximately 12 months work, they're gonna have a, not a new boat, but as, as new and cosmetically very new. There's been a lot of weigh and tear on it in the years. And what we've got to do now is repair the whole planking first, which is double diagonal mahogany, which means one planking goes in one direction, the outer skin goes in the opposite direction and it's copper nailed through. These are then nailed onto oak ribs and a framework. Very, very strong board, but it allows them to make the material specie a bit lighter for weight and strength. It's quite a lot of nails and riveting and as I say, a very, very strong job, traditional method, been around for a lot of years and a really, really nice job for me to do. It's traditional skills all the way through. Um, after that, we'll get the, all the timber repair done on the hull, then we'll put the boat upright, and we'll start doing work on the top sides. Once the top sides are completed, new gunnels, the decks will be repaired, the fore and after deck will be repaired, and then we have to construct a uh, whale back which is a bit like a tortoise shell which goes over the engine bays when that's completed then it's paintbrush and I think there's about a month of paint on here time you get all the inside and outside several coats because it's, it's not like painting the living room wall it's not flat it's quite a bit of a uh, corners and juggling about but at the end of the day, it'll be back to traditional lifeboat colours. It'll be going back to Seam Harbour. They're busy getting a marina constructed there. When the marina's completed, they're going to go back into their original boathouse. And it's hopefully going to be a tourist attraction as well, which will bring a, a bit of uh, people into the area to have a look at it. Lifeboat fans, etc. So basically, that is the master plan. Uh, all we need now is about 12 months work, a lot of riveting and a lot of sandpaper and then at the end of it we should have a good job. Here we're on the after port section of the boat. These two planks here that were damaged have been taken out. All these nails are the copper rivets that are through. The, the hull is constructed out of two types of planking. It's all mahogany. On the inside, we'll have a six milli thick piece of ply, a of mahogany that goes across that away. And then after we put that layer on, this is, this is calico, so there'll be a thin layer of calico goes between the planks. And then we'll have a slightly thicker plank, which was nearly 10 milli, and that goes across there. So when we get a join on here, there's four copper and rivets go in there. So every every joint, every place has a nail. There is a, a lead paste goes in between, behind the calico. So when that has the rivets in over that big area, they all tighten up and make it watertight. After it's settled down on the nails, we'll get a plane, we'll dress all this off, plane it into level, then it'll be sanded, then it'll be brushed down, and there'll be a strand of cotton goes in the seam and then there'll be a filler 
goes over the top of that. And then we'll do uh, paint and prep. And there'll be several coats of paint on it and lots of sandpapering in between. This area here, there's a little bit to be cut out there when we get the, the fittings. This is called the scupper. Now these are to let any water, if the ship took a big wave, with it being an open boat, it would fill up with water, which would alter the stability of the boat if it took a second wave. So these were designed with a little brass unit in here with a hinge door on. It's designed so that when the water pushes against the door, it opens it out and allows the water to escape. But if a wave came and hit it on the outside, it would push shut and be a little seal and it couldn't get any water in from this side. It's purely as an expel of deck water. I think there's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 10 of these up each side of the boat. So you can imagine that area times 10, you could get quite a bit of water out there in a hurry. So if we look a bit further along here, you can see there's quite a bit of work being done on this side. As we get further along, when the boat arrived in, there was a hole above the bilge rail, which had a, a fisherman's repair, shall we call it. A big lump of plastic padding stuck in the hole and a piece of plywood over the top. Uh, I don't think it would have passed an MCA's best, but never mind, it, uh, it kept it afloat long enough. But now it's, we've got to do proper repairs. Uh, there's iron work on the underside of this bilge keel. That's got to come off. It has on it uh, a cast iron keel full length, which is a ballast keel. That has all been needle gunned and sanded and primed off. So that's a major part of the, the dirt getting away. We've tried to do all the dirty jobs first. All the anti-fouling and all the paint and varnish, that's all been sanded off. We have had to take a few extra planks out uh, because somebody's taken the paint off in the past and they've used a, a disc sander and they haven't been very skilled at doing it and they did more damage than what they did good. So a few extra planks to tidy up their mistakes. And when all that's done, on here there's pads every so often and then there's a big rail which goes on, which is like a grab rail for a rescue but also it puts the strength into the top of the vessel. So that'll be in some nice bit of oak and pads around the top.